All right, first up is our coming soon and uh, before square display. square display, before you even ask, yes, okay. of course it can exactly fit inside of a floppy drive. This is a common thing people ask. This is the first things. thing. This is yeah. the first thing that people ask. Yes. So it's a screen. Yeah. Well, a three and a half inch floppy. So this yes. is a coming soon sign up. Um, this one has capacitive. We also are going to have a version without, but I've been slowly getting photos of all these cool screens as I get them working with our upcoming circuit yeah. Python RGB experimenter board. Um, I thought people could sign because people are like, what's the link? You can now sign up and when they come into stock, uh, we'll have them available so you can mix and match them. People look cool in person. Okay, in the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Data, our team, our customers, our community, everyone out there who does open source and make this thing go together. Oh, it's our TFT Shield Reborn like Phoenix from the Flames. <laughs> this is one of the oldest boards that did not make it through uh, COVID slash part shortages slash TFT pricing uh, inflation. Uh, it's been a journey. So, um, you know, we redesigned this completely. It's in the same size and pinout as the original, but um, we have updated um, the touchscreen controller. It used to be the STMPE 811 or 610. That got discontinued. So now it's the TSC 2007, which is a um, I squared C sensor. So on the back, you can see it says TSC 2007. We also added a STEM QT port because, hey, you know, we like having those on there. It makes it easy to add sensors and devices as needed. We made the reset button right angle. Um, we made the default for the TFT connection be through the ICSP header, the two by three header, not the pins 10, 11, 12, 13, because uh, a lot of people are using Arduino shaped boards, but they're not literally in Arduino anymore. Um, and it's also like a cool Adafruit Black. And uh, we connected up the touchscreen IRQ pin. And we've got Arduino and CircuitPython libraries already um, for this. And I actually have it showing um, a little demo. Yeah, I'll do a demo. Yeah, on the, um, I have it on the Metro yeah. L7, which you get free with your order when you buy a bunch from Adafruit. Yeah. Uh, so this is running CircuitPython. So I will, I just probably confused the heck out of it because I just unplugged it. So let me reset it. It's like, why did you remove everything? Okay. So uh, the CircuitPython demo, um, I just have when I touch the screen, it uh, looks on the SD card and it displays a different image. So beautiful full color images of flowers or tigers and so on and so forth. Um, I mean, it's an older product, but I'm really glad that we brought it back in stock. The price also dropped because we were able to manufacture it. Um, for a lot less. The screens, the screen pricing basically came back down to a reasonable level. This is resistive. We also have a capacitive touch version of this, which did not go out of stock um, because a, a, enough of the components were available. So check it out. Uh, it does work with anything that is Arduino-ish shaped. Uh, we we'll also work with things that are mega or grand central shaped um, because it just uses the SPI connector and the two I squared C pins plus a few digital IO. And people often ask, well, what if you want to connect to other pins? Because it kind of uses all, you know, all the pins don't come through, they're soldered on. We have the wing shield, which was co-designed by Todd Bott and JP, who are Adafruit yeah. uh, hackers and friends. Um, and uh, they still get a cut every time we sell them. So pick up one yeah. of those and that will bring out all the GPIO if you want to connect more stuff uh, to your screen. That's new products.